What's going on button pushers? So there's a lot that goes into building a computer and a lot of different parts that you really have to look into for making sure that it does what you need it to do. But there are three main components that are gonna really, really affect any of your video or photo editing as far as actually playing it back or rendering it and exporting it. So today we're gonna be going through a bit of the computer parts that actually help and change all of that. If you guys don't already know who I am, my name is David and you know, let's just get straight into it. Three of the things that are really going to affect your computer build as far as video and photo editing, the graphics card, the RAM, and the processor. When it comes down to it, let's start with the processor. The processor is the CPU, the actual computer itself. You're going to really want to make sure that this is safe. It's probably one of the most fragile parts of a computer. So you're gonna need to pay attention to the cores it has and how much power it can you know, hold because that's what's gonna determine the speed of plenty of things like rendering and exporting and just making sure that things run a little bit more smooth. So the more cores it has, the better. Now a mere eight to 10 core is okay, but once you hit that, 12 to 16 you're gonna get a lot faster speeds and then it goes to 24 32 64 the more cores you have the faster the processing and rendering and all that is gonna be because the more cores it has the more it can you know distribute the work and then just make it run smooth and super super quick and easy so your warp stabilization times your proxy making times all of that is affected by the processor next let's talk about the graphics card the graphics card is pretty much exactly what it sounds like it's gonna affect anything with the graphics as far as playback or video resolution or the capability of your computer to be able to play back at those speeds and determine how much power it actually needs or if it's gonna lag at all the graphics card is gonna be able to control all that and make sure that you get a super super smooth and beautiful playback so if you're tired of using proxies and the processor is able to handle it as well as the graphics card maybe if you get a good graphics card you don't need to make proxies and you'll be able to play those 4k 6k 8k clips super smooth the gpu also has a memory cache which means that it is able to hold a specific amount of memory before things start to slow down a bit so the bigger the cache it has the more fluid your footage is going to be when playing back then you have your ram your random access memory so this is pretty much what's going to be determining how many things you can run at once before things start to freeze up or lag and whatnot so the more ram you have the more ability you have to run different things so let's say you wanted to run premiere and uh, after effects and you know play a game and photoshop all at the same time the more ram you have the more fluid the more smooth this is gonna run because it's just more memory ram is a good thing to have and no you cannot download ram don't believe anybody that says you can download ram let's fake bonus part that is super important that i've recently found out because i'm trying to you know get my computer run super smooth if your hard drive and your connection to the computer with the hard drive isn't fast enough your footage might lag because i'm actually facing that right now it's really annoying because i have the komodo footage which runs super super smooth on the mac but on my pc with you know a 3080 and a 24 core processor with 128 gigabytes of ram is still lagging a bit because the data is not transferring fast enough from the hard drive to the computer so i may have to edit off an ssd or find a good raid system that's for people who understand computers but anyways from those parts it leads into many different things because you have to determine your motherboard based off of what processor you have and if it can handle the graphics card depending on the graphics card size and then you also need to make sure you get case fans to cool down the processor because everything kind of revolves around this processor on top of that you need a cpu cooler the cpu is the processor that's like the abbreviation and then you also need your hard drives your ssds or whatever you want to use you need your power supply as well so after you picked out all of your parts your power supply should be the last thing you pick because that way you can determine how much power you actually need and don't forget the case the case is super important to have too so you can put everything in unless you want to build it inside a toaster then that's fine too after that you pretty much have everything that you need so remember guys 
Three things that you really need to know and pick out strategically are your graphics card, your CPU, which is also your processor, and your RAM. Also your hard drives, make sure you get super fast hard drives. SSDs are the fastest ones. Hard drives do work, but they're not gonna be as fast as SSDs. Just make sure you read a little bit and figure out your data rates and what you specifically need as far as your data rate goes. So that's all for today's video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, you know, it's a little bit different video. I don't really make videos about computer parts and stuff, but I recently built one and it was super amazing. Shout out to Carlos for helping me build my PC. It was my first time actually making it by hand and it was a very stressful process lots of issues would recommend that make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up if you like to drop me a comment below what are you guys running as far as computer specs or are you just on a macbook or something let me know in the comments give make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed i will see you guys in the next video keep pushing buttons guys and have an amazing day peace